I have been writing prompts since chat GPT was introduced and you know these prompts help me to boost my daily workflow and help me to save a bunch of time. I use a simple formula to create prompts and it takes only one to two minutes to create a detailed prompt and with this method I can create hundreds of prompts within a day and today in this video I am going to show you how you can do the same how you can write best prompts by using chat GPT so you can boost your daily workflow and I am sure by the end of this video you will be able to create detailed and premium prompts that are so powerful to boost your performance but as usual if you are watching my video for the first time please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button hi friends my name is Uber from digit crafter until now you have been chatting with chat GPT for small tasks such as if you need to make a pizza you will ask chat GPT write an easy recipe for making pizza at home or you need answer for a specific question such as a historical question asking chat GPT who was the first president of America today I will show you how to get chat GPT to write complex and detailed responses by giving it specific instructions this process is called prompting maybe you already have information what is prompting but some of you may be beginners and please let me explain for them before I explain prompting let me explain to you what is chat GPT and how it works in fact chat GPT is like a really smart computer program that understand and talks with people in a natural way this chat GPT program learns from reading a lot of stuff from the internet like books blogs forums articles and a lot more when you ask chat GPT something it provides you information that it learned from online books websites and from other online sources it's kind of like having a knowledgeable friend that you can chat with but this friend is a computer program now here is a question how to interact with chat GPT to get best out of it it's something called prompting and what is prompting prompting in chat GPT means asking it questions or giving it information in such a way that helps it understand what actually you want by giving clear and detailed instructions you can get better answers or help from chat GPT that match with your requirement it's like telling it exactly what actually you are looking for so it can give you right information in return now how to give instructions to chat GPT to get most out of it let me explain you with examples now before I explain you with examples you need to have an account on chat GPT and it's absolutely free it's like creating account on any site like on Gmail when you create free account on chat GPT you will have dashboard similar to this one now I am going to give a very simple instruction to chat GPT for example I am a content creator and I mostly write content like blog articles social posts and many other types of content so I will give a simple instruction to chat GPT that is write a blog post on the benefits of email marketing so it's a very simple task chat GPT will start to write a blog on this topic that is benefits of email marketing at its own you can see it's generating paragraphs with headings and here it ends the article with wrapping up so you can see here it's a very simple post but it's not worth publishing on my blog so to write a comprehensive blog post on the topic that is benefits of email marketing I shall give chat GPT a special set of instructions so that it can generate article or blog post according to my requirements according to my instructions so to write a comprehensive article on benefits of email marketing I am going to provide chat GPT a special set of instructions I am going to use this prompt and please watch this video to the end I shall guide you how to create these prompts so by using this prompt let me copy this prompt copy it and go back to chat GPT and then create a new chat and paste your prompt here and then 
click enter you can see it started to write blog post but it started with the main title here and then it started with the introduction and then it writes why email marketing and then what is email marketing and then it starts to write benefits of email marketing now after writing email benefits it also explains us about how email marketing solves common business issues and after explaining this it writes another topic that is practical tips for effective email marketing so it generated complete and comprehensive article with a proper conclusion and if you see its introduction it writes in the introduction chat gpt starts with a compelling introduction and what is that it starts with a story it writes sara a small business owner was struggling to keep her shop afloat she had tried everything from social media ads to handing out flyers but nothing seemed to work so this paragraph attracts the readers to read more about your article and if you go down it also writes some facts and figures about email marketing and if we compare this article this blog post of chat gpt with the previous one click on here and this is the previous article it generated you can see it's simple and small and it only writes benefits on email marketing nothing else chat gpt generated what actually we told it to generate so we told chat gpt to write a blog post on the benefits of email marketing and you can see it only generated some benefits about email marketing but in other instructions that we gave to chat gpt it generated a complete article a complete blog post by following our detailed instructions and this is actually i want to tell you how you can write this detailed prompt this is our prompt that we provided to chat gpt to generate our blog post so how you can write prompts like this one it's very simple in fact i use a simple formula to create prompts for myself and you can apply the same formula to create prompts for yourself and this formula to create prompts is consisted of five parts that is role task context key instructions for output and format and on the basis of these five elements i create my prompts now let me explain you step by step what is the purpose of each element in this formula so the first element in our prompting formula is the role you can see here in this sentence we assigned a special role to chat gpt and this role is instructing chat gpt to focus on writing a comprehensive engaging and seo friendly blog post so when you start writing your prompts always start with the role and assign a specific role to chat gpt and this role instructs to chat gpt to focus on best practices for writing blog posts such as content conversion seo writing techniques and the specific needs of content creators and beginners so whenever you start to write prompts always start with the role and assign a specific role to chat gpt so it can produce better results better response when you assign chat gpt a specific role now let's move to the next element and that is task now in this task element i instructed chat gpt to write content on a specific keyword or you can also call it a topic and in the next sentence i am instructing chat gpt that the content should be informative persuasive and cater to beginners so my targeted audience are the beginners who are new to email marketing and in the last sentence i instructed chat gpt to use conversational tone to write the content no next element in our prompting formula is context so the purpose of specifying context in chat gpt prompting is to provide background information and situational details that helps chat gpt to generate more accurate relevant and tailored responses as you can see in our example we are specifying a special keyword that is benefits of email marketing and then we are further expanding our targeted audience a beginner may be an individual or a beginner may be a business so in the context we further cleared our instructions that chat gpt needs to target individuals and businesses so that they can grow through email marketing so this is our actual background that why we are instructing chat gpt to write blog post on benefits of email marketing and now next element is instructions for output now the purpose of specifying these instructions for 
output in chat GPT prompting is to specify that how chat GPT should format, style and structure its responses to meet our exact requirements. As you can see here, we instructed chat GPT to start our blog post from a compelling story. And if we go back to our article, you can see here that it started our article from a story. And in the next instructions, we instructed chat GPT to write facts and figures that is including some statistics or research findings on the benefits of email marketing. And if I go back to my article, you can see here in this second paragraph, it added some facts and figures about email marketing. And in the next instruction, I instructed chat GPT to use SEO friendly length. That is our blog post should be at least 1500 words long to ensure it meets SEO best practices. Next, I instructed chat GPT to use simple language and explain any technical terms related to our topic. And you can see it used very simple language for writing this blog post. In next instruction, I also instructed chat GPT to solve some common issues that how our topic can address these problems. And next, I instructed chat GPT to ensure that every sentence adds value to the reader and stays on topic. So this is very important. Chat GPT will not write anything other than email marketing that is our main topic now in last instruction which is also very very important I instructed chat GPT to use personal pronouns like I you and your to create a conversational tune as you know that using these pronouns I you and your in your article makes your article or content more user friendly and in the last element that is format, I instructed chat GPT to mark down format with headings. So friends, I use these five elements to create my prompts that are role, task, context, instructions for output and format. There are also a couple of other elements, but I am a content creator. So I use this specific formula and you can follow the same steps to create your prompts. As you can see, I have a large prompt library and I created all these prompts by using this prompting formula. So my friends, using prompts help you to boost your performance, to boost your daily workflow. Any task that you complete without chat GPT, it may take around one to two hours, but using prompts and AI, you can finish this task within minutes. As I showed you example that how I create my prompts. So friends, I hope that this video will help you to create better prompts. And if you come up with any better prompts, please share your experiences in the comment section below. That will help me, not only me and help others to boost their daily workflows. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need help to create any prompt, let me know in the comment section below in this video. I shall be more than happy to provide you my assistance. And one last request. If you have not subscribed my channel, go and subscribe my channel right now. I will be sharing more ideas on digital marketing, making money online and much much more. Also hit the like button on this video. Keep watching this channel. See you in next video. Take care. Bye.